spirits are undying beings that dwell in the spirit world. It's beyond your understanding. Hmm. Well, maybe that device captured the four great spirits instead of killing them. Impossible! Mere humans could never capture the Great Four! But the Four Great Spirits aren't answering their Lord's summons. If you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. If you leave an egg in a box, then somehow that egg should get crushed. The cause must lie within the egg itself. Good old Howe's egg principle. You really are an honor student. <laughs> Aspyrix advanced enough to capture even the four. When that happened, I then lost my power as Maxwell. Mila? Now you will all leave. This is holy ground, and you'll desecrate it no more. I'm the only one ordained to serve Lady Mila. Ivor, please leave as well. You can go home. Huh? Let me see. How should I put this? You're annoying. Oh! Oh. I'm going to need this in order. To be able to save the four. Yes. The woman at Kijara Seafalls, and the Rashigal soldiers at Hamil. This must be what they're all after. I have to face them as I am now. There really is no place I feel more at home. Oh, what's wrong? I thought you were gonna rest. I would say the same to you. You didn't go back to the village? No. Well then, let's go set you up with the villagers. What's wrong? Worried you won't fit in? No, that's not it. So, what are you gonna do now? Will you return to Fenmont to destroy the Lance of Kresnik? Yes. When you consider that the Lance drained mana from the Four, along with the other people there, we can assume the mana serves as some kind of fuel. The Lance must gather mana before it can be used as a weapon. I doubt it will be ready immediately. I suspect their mana gathering activities will continue. Are you planning to go alone? Stop beating around the bush. If you want to tell me something, just say it. I want to know, how come you're so brave? You've taken an interest in me, haven't you? <sighs> Bravery. That's not really it. I have a task to perform. And I do whatever it takes to complete the task. It's that simple. But you're only human now. Isn't this mission too big for just one person? I mean, you could die. That changes nothing. The task must be completed. You really are brave. Any other questions? Then let's go back. Hey! Yes? Can I come too? With you? Your whole life was turned upside down because you got involved with me. You don't regret it? Well, sure. A little bit. But it's too late to cry about it now. It's not like I can turn back time. Now that I'm neck deep in this, I want to help you if I can. You really are a do-gooder, aren't you? Y you think so? I didn't stay behind in the shrine to rest. 
I was hoping to sneak off without dragging you into things again. Really? Yes. Consideration for others was something I learned on our little journey together. It's not as easy as I thought. Anyway, let's head to the village. Now that you found me, I suppose I'm in no rush to leave anymore. Okay. What? No, I think he went back to the village. Took you long enough. I didn't expect to see Mila with you. So, you've made up your mind. Yeah, I'm going with Mila. Whoa, you're quite the flip-flopper. I thought you regretted getting involved. True, but I've made my decision to help her and I'm sticking to it. Is that right? Alvin, thanks for all your help. Oh. I almost forgot. We still need to pay you. Ah, uh, yes. My fee. I ran into some hayseed. He said he'd pay it. One of the villagers? Yep. He was all, thank you for looking after Lord Maxwell, and you saved our spirit. Hmm. That sounds like the Elder. He shouldn't have offered. Alvin, I'll pay you myself. You need to learn how to read your people, Mila. That old man was tickled pink to pay your debt. You'd crush him if you refused. You think so? I know so. Anyway, he told me to wait here for him. That was ages ago, though. Not sure what's holding him up. He's still in the village, right? Most likely. We should find him. Don't forget to take care of anything you want while I'm still around. Once I get my reward, I'm out of here.
Lord Maxwell and your companions. Forgive me for making you wait. Worry not. I hear you've prepared payment for Alvin. Yes, yes. The villagers all pitched in and collected a small fund ages ago. It's the least we can do to help you, Lord Maxwell. You hear farmers, not fighters, after all. I see. Told you. I appreciate everything you've done for me. So my debt is paid. Thank you for everything. Yeah, thanks. It was fun. See you around. And just like that, he's gone. That's a mercenary for you, I suppose. Yeah. Lady Mila! Will you be departing again? Yes. Look after the village. But I would rather accompany you! I wouldn't dare leave your holy care in the hands of this blasphemous, uncouth, shifty, backstabbing stranger! Ivor, tell me again of your duty. My duty? Why, it is to serve you, Lady Mila. And what of your other duty? Uh, to protect the people of Niakara. Those who can't protect themselves. Exactly. And now you see why Jude shall accompany me on this journey. While you fulfill your second duty. But Lady Mila, you wouldn't have lost the Great Spirits if not for him. No, the fault was mine and mine alone. Indeed, if Jude hadn't been there. I might never have returned safely to Niakara. Thanks. I'm only trying to help. But Lady Mila! The matter is not open to debate. Will you abandon your duty to this village? No. Then let's be off, Jude. I hope they haven't closed off the Sea Haven. So does that mean we'll be passing through Hamil again on the way? Hmm. Yes. That's not a bad idea. Really? Is that okay? It will give us a chance to check up on Rashigal's activity here in Ajul. If we're lucky, we might even find a way to sneak into Fenmont. Gotcha. We'll stop by Hamil then. Safe travels to you, Lord Maxwell. Thank you. Lady Mila! Please return to us safely!